Hello, my name is Kim. Today I'm going to talk to you about a plant that I have that is labeled Banda sandariana alba. It's not this one. This is a plant that um, is a Vanda sandariana and I'm just using this plant as a reference. I'm going to talk about the characteristics of Vanda sandarianas and what led me to believe that the plant that I have labeled a Vanda sandariana alba is actually not that and the process in figuring out what is it. If it's not that, what is it? Okay, so first let's use this plant as a reference and talk about the characteristics of Vanda sandariana. So if we come over here, we can see that this label says Euanthe Vanda sandariana. Now the Euanthe is important because that is a particular category of Vandaceous types that have some specific characteristics. And let's talk about those. One of the big ones has to do with the lip. And you can see that these flowers, <laughs> they are gone, but I kept it just so I could show you the shape of that lip. Okay, so you can see that it's relatively flat and there's no spur on the back end of it. So you see this, what a spur is. Let's look at this Vanda Golden Doubloon. She's on her way out too, but still looking beautiful. Let's look at her spur. So right back there in the back of the lip, do you see that bump? That is a spur. A Euanthe should not have that spur. I've got one more example here that I can show you on this little mini vanda got the spur on the back right there okay so the uanthe should not have that spur that's the first big thing okay the next thing is the overall shape of the plant you can see that these leaves are thinner than a typical vanda and they stay more closed they're a little thinner stay more closed and you see that they kind of go up out and over. These big mature leaves at the top are, are holding that shape. Okay, another thing, and these flowers are pretty far gone, so it's gonna be hard to see, but the top three should be smaller than the bottom two, okay? All right, so those are some big characteristics of Euanthe sandariana. And so now I wanna come over and talk about this plant that is labeled Vanda sandariana alba. Now my first indication that this was probably not the correct tag were the roots. And all of these roots for the most part, the growing tips have stopped growing because right now it's in flower. Most orchids will do one or the other. They'll either focus on blooms or they will focus on vegetative growth where they have growing root tips and growing leaves. Now, my first indication was looking at those root tips and the root tips on that plant when they were growing looked about like that, maybe even a little darker. And so when you talk about alba orchids, that should mean the absence of any red or blue pigmentation it should just be they should have green growing root tips. The roots on an alba should look something like this. Okay, should have those green growing root tips. And this plant did not have that. This plant had dark growing root tips. Now, the next indication I had <laughs> was when the flower opened, it looked like this. Okay, so you can see there's a lot of pink a lot of red in there, which is absolutely beautiful, but not an alba, okay? So we definitely know that this plant is not a Euanthe sandariana alba. But is it a sandariana? Is it a Euanthe sandariana? So let's look for those characteristics. Let's look at the shape of the flower. Beautiful shape. You can see that the top three are smaller than the bottom two. Okay, let's look at the shape of the lip. Let's see if we can get in here and look at the shape of the lip. Nice and flat and no spur. Okay, let's look at the overall shape of the plant. We can see that those mature leaves are going up and out and pointing down 
and we can see that they are thinner and mostly closed. So definitely not a Uanthi Sandariana Alba, but I'm comfortable saying that this is a Uanthi Sandariana and a beautiful example of one. So we just need to change that tag. Not an Alba, the Alba flower should have none of this pink or red in there. The Alba flower would have green and white. Those would be the only colors in there. And don't you love those little faces in there? Aren't they cute? <laughs> little faces, so cute. Another thing that I really love about this flower, and I don't think it's a characteristic necessarily unique to Uanthi Sandariana, but do you see how it has this corkscrew on the pink stem? I absolutely love that feature of these flowers. Absolutely beautiful. All right, well, thank you so much in, in hanging out with me and taking a look at that label and helping me determine what is it. I think we're going to go ahead and label it Uanthi Sandariana, not Albiform. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up If you and subscribe. I'll be putting out more. I'm a relatively new channel, but I'll be putting out more videos. Uh, I have over 300 orchids in my collection. And I also have a pollinator garden. These are the shade houses. And I actually have more growing spaces other than this one. But this is my shade house that I put up about a month ago and went nuts mounting. <laughs> orchids are absolutely loving it over here. Um, so why not subscribe? I'll be putting out more videos. I also have a fairly large pollinator garden. I've got a nice little backyard ecosystem happening with um, lots of butterflies and hummingbirds and lots of other little critters running around <laughs> that I will be making videos on as well. All right, well, that's it for today. Have a great day.